Hello everyone. Good morning. So let's quickly make a morning breakfast. So for that, what we need is uh, sweet corn, onion, carrot, green peas. This is dry red chilies. This is the curry leaves, and uh, this is uh, dal, peanuts. Uh, this is uh, mustard seeds and the jeera seeds. And what we are making today is from this bambino vermicelli so just use this uh, using this vermicelli we are going to make a nice and tastier and healthier dish today so let's quickly start it so let me turn on the flame and uh, i'll make it in a different way uh, you know i have to turn on the flame here on this i would keep some water this is the drinking water here so let it get boiled meanwhile it gets boiled uh, you know let's turn on the pan here kadai take a saucepan turn on the flame and add some ghee to it so i have a ghee ghee this is a desi ghee which is a homemade ghee so i'm going to add a spoon of ghee to this almost two this is two spoons and if you want some more as well i'm adding one to two tablespoon of oil as well because a mixture of both oil and ghee gives a nice flavor because we cannot eat whole uh, you know if we, if it only has uh, ghee so I'm adding it then we are you know water is getting boiled just check with the help of your hands then to this here let me add because we have more quantity of all this so I'm adding a little bit of more oil around two tablespoon of oil more that is in total it is four tablespoon so as you can see just check whether it is hot or not once oil is heated add all these things first yes these are done if you want you can increase the flame here let me increase the flame and let the mustard seeds crackle you know uh, whenever we make this sort of these things so the mustard seeds should be crackled guys we need to heat it in that way oil is hot oil and ghee and nice smell is coming aroma of uh, you know the flavor of the ghee and the mustard seeds so to this you can see water is getting boiled here so good so let the peanuts turn brown in color So here now we have to add the red chili and it is dry red chili so I'm going to add here the crackling the red chilies are crackling and then the ginger this is ginger ginger gives a nice flavor so I'm adding ginger here. You can see. Let's see how nicely they turn. So now to this. It would take at least half a minute 
let's see brown let's add story leaf here now and onion Let's turn, let's turn off this boiling water flame. I have turned it off. Let it on this. To this, let us add the whole plate of all this ingredients. See how colorful it is. So colorful, guys. You can just even eat like this. And this will take some time. <coughs> Sorry. So, you know, the smell of this. So to this water, I will add almost a half a tablespoon of oil. Adding oil, just moving it around so that it get mixed, and then take some salt. Take some salt and add it in this as well as to this water. Adding some water, the color changes, and here, even here, you try add added salt here, it becomes in this way. And now let's quickly add this. So I'll take a handful of this and I'll add it. And I'm adding by parts because it slowly gets, uh, you know, box cooked. Otherwise it gets sticked. So you can see part by part marrying it this is for the four to five people guys that's why we have more amount of vermicelli here so don't worry and the water would be sufficient We have it here and we are adding it all to this. Yes, I have it done. So don't waste the food guys, you know. We usually even throw these things but you should not. I usually, you know, don't tend to throw anything. So which is like wastage, is nothing but wastage of food. So please avoid wastage of food guys. So here just to mix it. Just mix it. Uh, a rough, roughly, you are going to mix like this. Leave it. You have to strain it afterwards. All right. So leave it for about uh, two to three minutes because the water is hot. It's boiling water, so yeah. it gets cooked. So here. Let's look at here. So even this is nicely done. So we have added added salt. We have added green chili. Sorry, red chilies, just to give a nice colorful texture. If you want, you can add even green chilies. You can see it is just amazing.
So let us see. See this. As I said, we should leave this for about a minute. It slowly gets cooked. The water gets absorbed and gets cooked. So if you see anything in this, please remove it. It's nothing but, uh, you know, it's not any kind. So it is almost done. It is nicely. You can see because we have added oil in this, it doesn't get sticky. Yeah, it is almost done. Yeah. Now let's see this. Because you know the sweet corn, it would take at least half a minute to half a minute to one minute. We have to saute it nicely because they are raw, they are not cooked. But with this flame, you know it nicely gets cooked. So, this is done. Now, slowly again check it. Check the texture of this. Take one of it and see. Check. Little bit of this thing is remaining. So let's. Even you can use more water and then you can strain it. Um, I don't want to waste that because it is it's really good. So from the bottom, I will take some. And I'll keep adding to this because it gets cooked. So, again, So we have added it nicely. You can strain this, guys, and then just very slowly turn it upside down. So it is almost done guys you can see how nice it is it is cooked and it is has sweet corn 
how colorful it looks you can see it's just amazing see it it's very colorful so this is how it is done guys so thank you for watching my video and hope you all would like it and enjoyed it at home thank you